Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, November the 16th. Today is National Fast Food Day. Ooh, I love fast you food. You know, who doesn't it's love fast food? It's just too darn good. It's food. also National Button Day. And if you have too much fast food, you might struggle to... <laughs> with it. It's National Indiana Day. And today is a movie star Monday. And I've got Kevin Sorbo. I've talked to him in the past, I think twice in the yeah. past. He's such a nice guy. Um, his, uh, he grew up in a state right next to where I grew up. We didn't know each other, of course. He's, uh, he's a little older than I am, but very, very nice man. Um, he has two brand new movies that are out right now and numerous projects are in the works right now. This dude is a busy, busy dude. And I'm super excited to chat with him about what he's up to. Again, that's coming up a little bit later in the program for this movie star Monday. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A study by Washington State University found that smoking marijuana can reduce obsessive compulsive disorder. Mm. So, do you think that that's really what was going on? I think there were just some students that were caught smoking marijuana. They're like, "Oh no, we're uh, we're doing a study." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, what's, I that's think what's going on. Probably you just get too relaxed to be. I don't know. Could be um, results of another survey. I'm I'm excited to to see what Heidi thinks of this. Percentage of adults who think that they are above average. When it comes to honesty, would you say you're above average when it comes to honesty? Probably average. Yeah, 94% say they're above average when it comes to honesty. How about this? Percentage who think they're above average in common sense. Would you say you have more common sense uh, than the average yeah, I, I know a lot of people, and yes, I would say I'm okay. above average. 89% think they're above average. Uh, the percentage of people who are above average in intelligence, do you think you're smarter than the average person? Yeah. 86% agree that they think they are also smarter, which, by the way, can't happen. 86% can't be smarter than the average because, well, that's more than the average. And then uh, the percentage of people who think they're above average when it comes to looks, would you say you're better looking than the average person? No, that's why I'm in radio. <laughs> well, <laughs> funny thing is 79%. So that's the smallest number we have. <laughs> But honesty was 94%, so, you know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is surveys and studies and such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you, too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. And like I've mentioned a few times, you know, addiction is no laughing matter. Even though we talk about people under the influence, uh, we're, we're not making fun of the person. We're making fun of the silly thing they did while they were under the influence. And if you have struggles with that, keep in mind, TimeForRehab.com. Scotland is where we head. There was a guy that was drunk as a skunk, and he wanted to pick a fight with whoever. So everybody that walked by kind of just ignored him. So he finally found his victim, Heidi. Okay. And he started taking a swing, and he was very angry that the, the, this person, I'm using air quotes that doesn't really translate to radio, didn't didn't fight back. Well, the person was a lamppost. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. nice. He was drunk, and he was shouting at it, come on, have a go. Anyway, he was arrested, ordered to pay for a new lamppost, and perform community service. So He broke how, the lamppost? Yeah. How drunk do you have to be to think a person, a lamppost is a person? You'd, you'd think you'd know, but apparently not. That's what happens when your brain is definitely on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. And I actually already talked to Heidi about this off the air, so it's probably not going to be a big shock to you. But based on social media posts, which images are the top five Disney tattoos? Oh, yeah, we the did talk about this. The thing that was really this. confusing to me is, so everybody... 
uh, amongst yourselves, make sure you, you shout it out so everybody around you, uh, which Disney character do you think has been tattooed the most? And if you just shouted one, we'll see if you're correct. Number five, Lilo and Stitch. What? Yeah, I don't what? get that. I don't get any of these, How honestly. Did that happen? Number four, The Little Mermaid. I could see that. Uh, that's As a tattoo? I, I, the number three makes the most sense to me. Number three Mickey. is Mickey Mouse. How is that number that three? That should be number one. How is that not number one? Number two, The Lion King. I don't get that. So, I don't know, I suppose. And then the number one tattoo of a Disney character is Alice in Wonderland. Those I get, that one I do get because there's a lot of really cool characters. I bet the I Mad suppose. Hatter is tattooed a lot. Yeah, I suppose. There you go. That is a uh, big screen, little screen. Brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of TimeForRehab.com. Hey, if you want to look smarter, according to a study in the UK, just drink your coffee with nothing in it. Just black. People who drink black coffee are seen as deeper thinkers than a hose, those like me who add sweeteners and syrups and other things. So if you just say, I want a coffee, plain black, you seem to be a lot smarter. I like black coffee with dessert. Uh, yeah, you do. We do mm-hmm. that. And I like black coffee with cream in it. <laughs> yeah, it's not black anymore, but okay. With cream in it. <laughs> uh, when it comes to boosting your mood, research suggests exercise is the gift that keeps on giving. In fact, the feel-good afterglow of a workout It can uh, last far beyond an hour or so that has previously been assumed. Now they say moderate intensity aerobic exercise improves your mood immediately, but then it can last up to 12 hours. So they're saying uh, do a little workout and and you're going to feel it for a while. I've done that, but it's when I overexert myself and I'm like, oh, wow, I really, really shouldn't have done that third (laughs) (laughs) sit-up. Wow. Um, A heartbreaking study finds that... uh, Screaming at your dog scares them long term. Of course it scares them. They're dogs. Yeah, they say it's better to have patience. Uh, 42 dogs from different schools, they used reward-based treats, and then 50 dogs from aversion training schools. During the study period, they found that yelling and jerking the leash, it stressed the dog out, but it just calmly talking to them actually made the dogs better dogs, and they actually did what they were supposed to do quicker. So quit yelling at your dogs. And a dog really is man's best friend because guess who ends up taking the family pet out the most? Dad. Mm. Despite being the most reluctant to get a dog in a study, researchers found that dads are left to feed and clean and exercise a dog more than anyone else in the family. I'm thinking of this right now because we had two dogs. Who, who let them out the most? Probably You always me. let them out in the morning, but morning. the whole rest of the day, it was well, me. I let them out a lot. A study had 2,500 pet owners... And they reveal children are most instrumental in bringing a dog into the family, but they are the least instrumental in taking care of the dog. And maybe the last thing I might be able to get to, too. When confronted about neglecting physical fitness, many Americans blame their busy schedules, demanding jobs and family responsibilities. That's why I can't make it to the Mm -hmm. gym. But according to a study, the average American has about five hours of free time every day. What's taking up the free time for real? Television, smartphones, and other electronic devices. So it's not that you don't have time. You have time. You just use it just for cho- choose not stuff. to. Exactly. And I do have time for one more thing. A study found that men look at women's bodies more than their faces. So Uh-oh. here's the thing. <laughs> they also found that women do that too. Women check out other women's bodies more than they check out their other faces. So uh, now you know. That's a bit concerning, really. It's co- they're comparing themselves. That's what yeah, women like, do. Hmm, yeah, I got yeah. that. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's awkward. Let's move on. Thanks for <laughs> listening to the John and Heidi Show. Eyes up here, Heidi. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. 
That's insurancechicken.com. It's another Movie Star Monday. We're super excited to visit with the amazingly talented Kevin Sorbo. You might remember him as Hercules. He was in that series for a long, long time, and that launched one heck of a career. He's been in a bunch of stuff since then. As a matter of fact, he's in a bunch of stuff right now. You've got, are there two different movies coming out right now? You've been staying busy. Been staying very busy. Actually, I got more than that. I got three movies and four documentaries. And three, Holy three of the documentaries just came out recently, and... Um, the other one will be out next year, and uh, my, all three of my movies have been moved. They got, they got kind of COVID pushed everything, so they're going to yeah. release next year. So the two things I have on my list to talk about are, uh, I've got the trailer here, and I watched the trailer for Against the Tide, which is one of the documentaries. And this looks absolutely fascinating. Let's give everybody a snapshot of what this is. Uh, it's a wonderful look at the, uh, the other argument of science proving God, when science always wants to disprove God. I spent three weeks in Oxford, England, with the amazing John Lennox. He's a retired math professor there. He holds, like, five doctorates and speaks another five, six languages. And three weeks in Oxford and two weeks in Israel. And I'm on camera, but I also narrate it. There's a Fathom event, November 19th. You can go to againstthetide.movie. That's againstthetide.movie to see uh, what theater it's going to be showing near them. And uh, it's a wonderful, uh, educated look at, uh, at Jesus. And I hope people get a chance to check it out. And that's a special event coming up uh, just a, a few nights, and I'm going to throw a link to that so folks can find it and make it really, really easy. Uh, and I encourage folks to check it out. It looks like it's going to be fascinating. Now, there's also, I got a chance to watch the trailer for Faith Under Fire, and this is one of the movies that's coming out, and you get to play a doctor in this. Is that right? I do. Um, the, the Faith Under Fire is just sort of a, a little trick on the name. that the, the, the father in this is a fireman, and uh, he, he had lost his wife, and now his daughter is quite ill. You can say you had faith in your life, but sometimes you got to find real faith in your life when yeah. when you get uh, and hit that uh, hit that roadblock. And how do you react to that roadblock? So it's a wonderful little independent movie. And in this movie, you team up with Dean Cain once again. You guys have been in a couple of other projects together. Uh, you must like working with him. Is he a pretty good fella? Dean's a good guy. We did a wonderful little movie that became quite a big movie called God's Not Dead. We have another one we're trying to raise money for right now called uh, The Carpool Lane, and uh, it's a really really wonderful film that uh, we're hoping to have the funds for it here sometime next year but uh, I've known Dean for a long time we got down the last two guys on Lois and Clark years ago and then he ended up getting the role but three months later I got Hercules so I was okay with that. I didn't know that but you know what it worked out for both of you didn't it? Yeah it sure did. Faith Under Fire I see will be in theaters November 27th through December 1st. We'll throw a link to make it really really easy. You said you've got some other projects in the works as well. Are, are any of those that we can talk about yet? Yeah, I I'd love, I have the number one Christian movie out there right now streaming on Amazon. It's, uh, it's another documentary called Before the Wrath. I narrated it. It's an amazing look at the book of Revelation. I think people find it educational and, and very fascinating. I've got another one out there called Climate Hustle 2 and it's a look at the climate uh, alarmist and it's just the other side of the fence to say, hey guys, why don't you get educated on the other side of the story here about climate change as well? Because there's always two sides to every story, and I narrate it, I'm on camera with that. And then I've got my movie called Let There Be Light, it's still out there streaming on Amazon, I hope people get a chance to Let There Be Light, and another movie I just finished directing called Miracle in East Texas, which was going to be in theaters this summer, we're moving it to springtime, but it's a wonderful movie, true story set in 1930 about two con men that would woo widows out of their money on fake oil wells. Um, and they have striking uh, the largest oil fund in the history of the world in Kilgore, Texas. It's a pretty pretty fun story that people will get a kick out of. I started it along with John Ratzenberger, Lou Gossett Jr., Tyler Maine, and my wife sent it, Sam Sorbo, and uh, we won all kinds of awards at film festivals, and we were very excited for the opening, but COVID, uh, as it did for so many other people, uh, put everything on hold. Last time you and I spoke, we talked about a movie called The Reliant, and we had a chance to see that fabulous film as well. A lot of great things that you've had a chance to be a part of, and it doesn't sound like you've been uh, looking for work. It sounds like you've been pretty darn busy. Well, you know, it's 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 it hurt. We lost two movies that were ready to go, and uh, the funders ran away because they got freaked out and nervous about COVID. And we'll see what happens. I did just finish eight episodes of a new a new uh, half hour comedy back in Los Angeles. I left LA a few years ago. I live in Florida now, by the way. You know, I, I, I leave next week. I'm shooting uh, the Ronald Reagan movie. It's titled Reagan. Uh, Reagan is being played by Dennis Quaid, and I play as pastor. We're filming in uh, Oklahoma. That one. And then I just got funded for my next movie that I'm directing for the next Left Behind series. So I knock on wood, I'm staying busy. I think that's amazing. And thank you for taking a few minutes to chat with us about it. We wish you the best. And I'm going to throw a link to a lot of the stuff we talked about. I might not be able to find all of it. Some of it's still in the works, but I'll, I'll point people in the right direction anyway. Perfect. 
appreciate I, that, John. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Again, Kevin Sorbo has been our guest. Uh, a lot of fun projects, and I'm going to throw a link to all of the ones that I can in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 15% of adults say they hide money in the freezer. Really? Oh. 15% have cold, hard cash? Huh. I've never thought to do that. No, we do not hide money in the freezer. I would be afraid that we would like throw it away because like we'll clean things out. Can you imagine having a bundle of cash and you, yeah. you think it's like, oh, ooh, wow, we, we haven't eaten these. What does it say? Pork chops? Let's throw <laughs> that away. Um, one of the reasons we don't hide money in the freezer, we have no money. We have no money. <laughs> we have no money to hide yeah. in the freezer. So if you're going to come looking at our house for money, don't look in the freezer <laughs> or anywhere else because we ain't got none. This is today's, not, not really a fun fact, kind of a sad fact, but now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline France. A Frenchman was arrested for shooting a priest who was having an affair with his wife. What? A priest? Yeah. So there's a priest having an affair with this Frenchman's wife, and he caught him, and he shot him. Okay, then. So it does not say if he shot the wife as well, but either way, what a story. That is crazy. So I've got a link to that if you want to read it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. At weirdgiftoftheday.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. Weirdgiftoftheday.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. And there's a little countdown going on there to uh, Thanksgiving. So there's all kinds of bizarre Thanksgiving things at weirdgiftoftheday.com. Restrictions on movement in the Czech Republic. After 9 p.m., you cannot go outside. The only exception is if you have a dog, you can walk your dog at night. Well, a man there in South Bohemia decided, I'm going to go for a walk with my dog. Well, it was a toy dog. Hmm. And when he got stopped by police, he said, no, I'm just walking my dog. Right. I'm not doing anything illegal. You know what? A for effort. He's, he's trying to find loopholes. They demanded loopholes. his ID card. They tr- he tried to claim, hey, it's just an artistic, practical joke. They didn't see the humor. They reminded the man of valid regulations concerning a nationwide curfew. In the end, they did let him off with a warning. But uh, they said, do not do this because now we've warned everybody, no, not toy dogs, real dogs. Right. So... What a bizarre story. That is today's Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. Angered that a burger joint had no more lettuce for their sandwiches, a Florida man allegedly caused a disturbance that resulted in him getting arrested. 49-year-old Henry Aker. Cabarello, I probably said that wrong, uh, was pounding on the window of a Checkers restaurant. Uh, This is near Tampa Bay. He was melting down because he was upset that they had no more lettuce for their sandwiches. According to the complaint, he was yelling and screaming at employees, caused fear for their safety when police arrived at about 11.30 p.m. He was in a car. He refused to identify himself, prompting an officer to remove him from the vehicle. He was charged with disorderly conduct in an establishment and resisting an officer without violence, both misdemeanors. So all of that over lettuce. This happens so often. I don't understand what the connection is between fast food and we, we all need to calm down just a little bit that's that's what the mm. connection is we all just need to take a deep breath yeah 
count to three and say, I don't need the lettuce. It's going to be fine. <laughs> this is today's moment of da. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida? Or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. How about this one? Fake news or Florida? A Florida man brought a tiger into a grocery store and later told police, it's my therapy animal. Fake news or Florida? Fake news. It is fake news. Ha! Man, you're good at this. I thought for sure because of Tiger King and all of that stuff, you'd believe this one. No, I, well, I never watched Tiger King, Well, I know, but you heard of it. I've heard of it, yes. Could have been like, you know, something to do with that. No, (laughs) I don't think so. (laughs) I need some help, folks. You can chime in with your fake news stories at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. And this is just a very bizarre story. Um, A Dutch whale tail sculpture catches a metro train. Like, this is one of those things where you just look at it and you go, wow, they were very fortunate to have that particular piece of art right where it was. So a Dutch train went past the end of its elevated tracks in the Netherlands. Yikes. It wasn't supposed to do that, but it crashed past it. And it was saved by a piece of art at the end. It was a giant whale tail. Okay. It's sticking up there. So the driver of the metro train escaped injury when the front carriage rammed through the end of the elevated section of rails. It was caught by the whale sculpture near the Dutch city of Rotterdam. It says, in a ridiculous coincidence, the name of the sculpture is called Saved by the Whale's Tail. And now that literally happened. The train was left perched upon two tail fins. Now engineers are tasked with trying to figure out how to get the train down. A team of experts are investigating how we can make it safely down, a spokesperson said. Uh, The architect who designed the sculpture, by the way, told the news that he was pleased that he likely saved the life of that driver. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He said, I'm surprised it's so strong. If plastic had been standing for 20 years, you don't expect it to hold up a metro right. carriage. Wow. So uh, I don't know if it's made of plastic. That's amazing. I don't know what it's made out of, but whatever it is made out of, it's it's pretty cool. I've got a picture of it in, in the story as well. Uh, you can find the link to that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.